First in Ohio, TV5 Eyewitness News with Ted Henry, Pat Menarsen, and the Eyewitness News team. Hello, Cleveland. I'm Ted Henry, and the strike is on. The National Football League has called a strike that will begin tomorrow. Gibbs Shanley has more on this, and Gibbs, is it going to be a long one? I don't know, Ted. I didn't think they'd do it in the first place, so I can't <laughs> tell how long it's going to go. For the first time in the 63-year history of the NFL, a strike will stop play. The Players Association's Executive Committee decided at a meeting today that work stoppage will begin immediately following tonight's game between New York and Green Bay. Browns player rep Doug Deacon was cornered earlier today after his players' 45-minute meeting. We have made a counter proposal. We have come off our percentage of the gross. That we feel that we have taken a big step, but there's been no uh, action on their part. And thus, in turn, it looks as if today, in our 2 o'clock meeting, you know, we're going to wait for the phone call, but it does not look uh, very optimistic for next week. That there has to be a door that somebody can enter and close and sit down and have an agreement. Because right now, the biggest problem is all you're looking at is egos. But what has to prevail is common sense. Well said. Professional sports affects more than just the players, owners, and fans. Alan Davis reports. Cleveland Stadium without professional football is about as unusual as a Cleveland winter without snow. A football player strike wouldn't stop the snow, but it would empty out the stadium and a lot of people's pockets as well. If we looked at the whole season, what it means in dollars to the restaurant as far as sales is probably upwards of $50,000 in lost uh, sales uh, for the remainder of the season. Bill Black manages John Q's on Public Square, one of several downtown restaurants which opens up on Sundays just for pregame brunches and postgame drinks. The shutdown means not only that he would lose business, but his waiters and bartenders could lose up to $40 a week on wages and tips. For waitress Barb Brenner, it means more than dollars and cents. I think more important than financially, the loss of the, or the football strike would mean less um, male bodies in, in this restaurant for me to look at. For Anita Sater, manager of a downtown parking lot, a strike means about a $4,000 dip in the take from parking the football fans. But it doesn't change her feelings about the players' rights. Under the circumstances, everybody has got a right to do what they want to do. And if they feel that they're not getting enough in their whatever they're arguing about, really, uh, I think they have a right. Crane's Cleveland business estimates the city might lose more than 60 million if the strike should last the season. But the players walk out today could be a signal to the owners that it's the two-minute warning, which means there's still time to save the game. For Eyewitness Sports, this is Alan Davis.